our last date in outdoor living. But I'm so glad that we can at least give you one look at a wind spinner from this brand. It's one of the things they are best known for. But this is a completely different take on it. So instead of having the traditional wind spinner that stakes into the ground, this one will hang, not only providing you the movement and the color that we love from their other spinners, but this also delivers on sound. There are two reasons to shop for it today. The price and the easy payment both go away when the day ends. But this piece at this price is really awesome. $25.82. That's today again, not tomorrow. Your easy payment today is $6.46 today and not tomorrow. And this is the aforementioned Nancy Brown. It's nice Thanks to see you. Thanks for having again. me. Good well, to see everyone. We are splitting the difference between yes. these beautiful pieces. Tell us about Plow and Heart sure. and how what they represent sort of follows through here. Exactly. Plow and Hearth is a company that's going to give you those kind of items that are really unique and distinctive in your garden. They're known for wind spinners and they're known for giving you those outdoor pieces that make you smile, give you joy in the garden. Mm -hmm. And I know so many of us love these relaxing sounds of wind chimes, but very often when you get a wind chime, you only get the bottom part of what's given to you here. Right. You get this, that's it. Well, Plow and Hearth took their technology of spinners and their design elements and gave you a spinner that is this one right here, which is a bike, it's called a penny farthing, which is our larger wheel in the front and the smaller one in the back, and then gave you the lovely sounds of wind chimes. And then our other choice is called the ball, and you've got those ribbons of metal over there that are spinning around, so you've got the visual, I'm and just, you also have the sound, so wind. the color on this one because you said green. the poor blues on the spokes on the wheel on your mm -hmm. bike, but this has the greens and the golds and the, the burnt reds and some orange in there too. Yeah, it really does. Pretty. So that one's more of a rainbow of colors. So if you're drawn to having that really pretty spiral effect, that's really lovely. Or if you're someone that just kind of likes the look of these old fashioned bicycles, you've got those beautiful blue spokes right there. And if we want to get in close, let's see, let me turn this around here so that you can see Mary was really noticing earlier just the details here you guys even the like, grip they're of like the little bike. springs I know that's the grip on the handlebars I love the bronze kind of coppery Wait, tone there I have to Let's show see, you the, the light the light the front in the, of the front bike. isn't that cute I, this is but this is what plow and hearth is about yes. are the details the details and you've got the bicycle seat here I suggest if you're like me and you're someone who likes to feed birds this is a great thing to put kind of somewhere near your bird feeder because then the birds can land on that bicycle seat or the handlebars while they're waiting for their turn at the, the um, feeder. But then no matter which one you're choosing, you're getting that symphony of sound yeah. with the beautiful wind chimes. Isn't that pretty? It is. It's, it's so, so pretty. Relaxing. And it's a really nice size too. Don't each you think? One. I mean, listen, yeah. we've all got plenty of things. I'm sure if I asked you what stresses you out, you could come with a list a mile long of things that are on your mind. But when you can carve out just a minute to go outside, breathe in fresh air, mm -hmm. and just close your eyes and listen to this. You can't underestimate how valuable an experience that is. Yes, it Treat is. Treat yourself to it. Very peaceful. And for, in fact, for some reason, wind chimes remind me of vacation. I'm not quite sure why. They make me think of the ocean, you know, or going to that spa place, you know, where you have something that's so relaxing just to listen to that. But they're not overbearing. They're very, very much a gentle tone. Sometimes yeah. you have wind chimes that are like, oh, take that down. <laughs> or if company's visiting, you know, yes. a neighbor comes over to have coffee in the morning and you can't hear each other over the wind chimes. That's, right. That's a problem. These really are soft. But again, this is plow and hard. There's quality for sure with this brand, including the construction of it. So is this a piece that you could say, leave it out year round? Is it treated oh, for that? Absolutely. I had one of these in my front yard through the winter time because I wanted to test it out. So I had the little bicycle out there hanging from a front tree. Um, so it was nice to have something that had some color before, you know, my spring garden started blooming. But imagine this kind of, you know, suspended over your day lilies, over all your flowers and your bushes that you have as your azaleas start blooming. It's nice to have that vertical decorating. So mm -hmm. put this in a tree. It's something that's just, you know, going to capture the wind. Um, and wind is kind of fickle, you know, so if it's not operating the way you want it to go ahead and play with the locations in your home i have definitely noticed in my yard some places seem you know spinners seem to do better than others maybe it's the trees or the bushes that might be blocking it so i play with the items and i kind of find 
places. Maybe you have a shepherd's hook or that hook off the side of your house. Uh -huh. You might want to put it there because it's such a bright, cheerful greeting, mm -hmm. but also to have that sound of the wind chimes yeah. is really lovely. Well, let me share the lengths on this sure. because it does vary a little bit from one to the next. So perhaps we can start here with the ball choice and you can see how pretty that is and I'll slow it down so you can see some of the colors in there as well. So the ball choice is going to be 42 inches from top to bottom. So a nice generous size for a price of under $26, I think, because I always go back to what would I expect to see it in a garden center for, yeah. and it's not this price, not for a piece like this. So again, right. 42 inches here. And then if we look at the bike choice that Nancy has next to her, that'll come in at three feet, so 36 inches from top to bottom. They're the same price, same easy payment, both of which go away at the end of the day. M60285. Nancy, thank you for thank our you. dates today. Yes, it was I lovely love to seeing see you. you. <laughs> see you soon. Well, more outdoor living coming up here because we've got a look at our big deal. Oh, is it back here? Hold on. Before we start painting and staining, this is me being dramatic. Wait, hold on. I gotta, I've got to recreate the moment. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> was that really worth recreating?